Perfetto, entriamo nel ristorante di Gretchen. Mm, this must be where pies go when they die. E parliamo con la ristoratrice. Ah, posso parlare anche con il tizio sul topo. Hi honey, my name's Gretchen. What can ecco. I get for you today? I'll just have the blue plate special, thank you. I'm Peter Durant. Gretchen here owns this place and she's the best darn cook in the county. Oh, Peter, stop. You're new in town, aren't you? No, I'm just visiting. My name's Elspeth Holliday. It's nice to meet you. Uh, what brings you to Burkittsville? You're not another reporter, I hope. Oh, no. Um, my sister's daughter disappeared a few months ago in Martinsburg. Oh, no, honey, that's just awful. Terrible. You don't think Rustin Parr had anything to do with it, do you? I certainly hope not. But it is possible. I'm in town to talk to the sheriff who investigated the case. The sheriff's name is Damon Bowers. Town Hall is down the street on the other side of the church. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Durant, if you don't mind my asking, what is your occupation? Not rude at all. I'm a librarian and head of the Burkittsville Historical Society. An historian? Ah, any areas of expertise? Well, just the history of Burkittsville. I guess you could call me an authority. I've been studying it all my life. Oh, interesting. Oh, it really is. We have quite a colorful history here. These uh, recent events have brought to light one of our oldest legends, stories about the Blair Witch. I've heard a few of the stories, but I don't really believe in that sort of thing. I do. I witnessed it myself. When I was a kid, a girl I knew named Robin Weaver disappeared in the woods. What happened to her? She eventually made her way back to town. And? Oh, it wasn't what happened to her that scared me. Heck, it still scares me now. This might sound silly, but uh, I'd rather not tell the story at night. If you are interested in our history, come by the library tomorrow. We have plenty of written documentation. And if you pry, I may tell you my account of the Robin Weaver story. I might take you up on that offer. Uh, now, you said this girl, Robin Weaver, came out all right. What happened while she was gone? You should ask her. She still lives here. Careful, though. She's a little peculiar. Gretchen. It's true, Peter. That may be, but uh, Miss Holliday, Robin Weaver's always been a bit eccentric, even when she was a child. She keeps to herself most of the time now and would probably prefer being left alone. You know, you should stop by the newspaper office. The editor's name is Horace Gerson. He's been there a long time. He could tell you a lot of stories. It's pretty late now, but with the madness of the trial and all, he's been keeping some late hours. I bet he's still there. Yes, I met him. We didn't discuss much, though. He seemed awfully busy. Well, you might keep Horace in mind, just in case you don't find everything you're looking for in Peter's library. As for Parr specifically, try talking to people who knew the victims. Anyone that knows Kyle Brody might help. Kyle's the boy that escaped from Rustin Parr. Word is, he was forced to face the corner and listen as Parr did horrible things to those children. Can you imagine? He hasn't spoken a single word since he got back. But his teacher at the school is close to all the children of Burkittsville. Maybe she can help you. Oh, honey, I've been talking your ear off. Your dinner's getting cold. You go on and eat now. Perfetto. Ora usciamo dal da ristorante. I've just met the town's librarian, Peter Durant, who promises to have a lot of information about local legends and mythology. So I'll visit the library tomorrow. Burkittsville residents are no strangers to the Blair Witch legends. Interesting that no one seems to have any first-hand experience with a witch, but nearly everyone claims to know someone who has, or know someone who knows someone. Ok, come te sta anche tonando, abbiamo scoperto molto di più di ciò che pensassimo su uh, sulle leggende della stagione di Blair e quant'altro abbiamo scoperto anche di varie leggende di questa Robin um. Weaver. How was your first day in Burkittsville? A long one. Tomorrow will be worse, I'm afraid. I'm planning on visiting Rustin Parr's place. You realize it's a four-hour walk, right? Do you even have a map? No. 
Where can I get one? Hmm. Don't rightly know. The uh, general store up the street, maybe? But, well, you, you just be careful, ma'am. Those woods are plenty dangerous. Wild animals? Animals? <laughs> no, no, ma'am. Animals stay out of those woods. They know better. Sometimes animals have more sense than people. So what should I be careful of? I pray to God you don't find out. And just stay away from Tappy East Creek. That's where she lives. Who? About a hundred years ago, she reached her pale white hand out of the water and pulled a little girl into the river. They never found the body. She's still down there in the water, waiting for another victim. You're talking about the Blair Witch. I don't ever want to say that. She hears you when you say your name. Stay away from that creek, man. For the love of God, stay away from that forest altogether. Now, good night. Bella, buonanotte. Grazie. Ora noi possiamo andare nella nostra stanza. Io penso che possiamo chiudere anche la parte qua perché penso che sia finito il tempo. Quindi ci vediamo alla, alla conclusione del giorno 1.